I spill going for Street Circle Martial Arts. This is why traditional martial arts struggle against combat sporting strikes. I find most people have no idea why they do traditional martial arts and they don't know what they're for. When they do traditional martial arts, they then go watch MMA or boxing and they go, okay, I can do that with my art. And then they realize really quickly they can't because what they're doing isn't really geared to fight in that situation. Traditional martial arts, you have to think back a long time ago when you're getting assaulted by people who either want to rob or kill you. And the majority of them had weapons on them. It was not an uncommon thing. So a lot of traditional martial arts work very well when you're facing certain situations, but then they don't train to face the other situation. So take an example like a grab, like he grabs my shoulders. Traditional martial arts works very well if I want to come into these hits and these throws and these takedowns against someone who's grabbing and I want to hurt them right away and I want to come in and go into this type of work. He comes at me with a knife, now I can start coming in with this type of thing because he has a weapon and gives me something to work against. He's giving me that arm on some level and, you know, it's easier to take him down. And I, I'm forced to use these things, blocks, parries, passes, hooks, and sometimes with a knife it's quicker, it's not this nice. I'm aware of that, it's fast. But you also have to envision back in the day, people had bigger weapons and they were slower and heavier. So when you got caught into something, they almost drifted a little bit a lot of times and they gave you opportunities to hurt them if you could get inside. So a lot of the things that we learn in traditional martial arts are lost because we're not facing that opponent in the real world as a general rule anymore. You're not facing armed guys, you're not facing you know, people in armor, it's just not the way it's designed. So the problem you have is now facing guys who are doing this. And these guys are specialists. They're boxers, they're sport fighters, they fight like this. So, you know, I see this all the time. Guys who learn all these nice trapping arts, and then they go and try and work against a boxer, and this guy's sitting here, and this guy's like this trying to move around, and they're trying to trap this guy, and he's not putting his arms out where you can trap for a while. And they struggle against that. Or they're trying to do very long techniques against a guy who's a short puncher inside and is going to take your head off. Or they're trying to joint lock a guy. This is this what drives me nuts. Is you get guys who are in a boxing position and they're trying to figure out how they're going to joint lock this guy, but he's not giving you anything. Because boxers and sport fighters are quick. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. They're not going to reach out there and give you that. They're not. So when you're doing traditional martial arts, it's okay to learn all that stuff. You should. I like it because, you know, God forbid you're attacked by a weapon or something like that. But you also have to keep in mind your average person who learns any type of fighting is not going to fight you like that. And you have to train with people like that. You have to train with people who box, who move around. And then really quickly you'll realize, hey, I'm not going to just sweep and throw that guy or join lock in because I'm not in position to do it. At that point, your tactics may have to change a little. You know, you may have to get into a position where you have to learn how to throw quicker and move more instead of just sitting here like this trying to go like that where you're going to get your ass kicked. So study it. Watch real fights on YouTube. Watch them. Where do you see how ugly and sloppy and how much movement there is? Throwing around and stuff like this. You know, nobody's coming at you like this. Nobody. And no one's coming at you with a katana. If they're just not. This stuff worked really good a long time ago in certain situations. But we're now in a different situation. So what you have to do is take these traditional martial arts and update them a little bit. It's not that they're bad. They just need some tweaking to, meet, to actually meet the problems of today. So don't be blinded by your local instructor who's sitting there telling you, okay, we're gonna line up like this today and everyone go like this and this is how we're gonna fight. You know, try that sometime. You're going to see how badly it fails. Start studying other arts. Watch MMA. Watch real fights. Watch how people fight and what they do. And get some concept for it. So when you start doing your practices, you can start doing more thing, realistic things. It doesn't have to be fast. I mean, just for example, you know, instead of going to practice and lining up like this and everyone going like this, sometimes go like this. Just take big swings. Take swings that more you would see in the street and come through them. Don't go like this and stop. Don't go. That's not helping your cause. Practice 
kicks out like you would see them in the street. You don't see kicks like this. You know, these. If you see people kick, they're on a run. They're trying to come through you. Practice bigger, uglier stuff. Practice things that look like they're gonna fight. You know, people are coming in like this, and then they get on. Right? Be right ready for the idea that people are gonna jump on you and try and tackle you, headlock you, and hit you like this over and over again. I like traditional martial arts, but a lot of them are taught in a way that are dangerous to your health. Do yourself a favor, watch some real fights, get an appreciation for it. And if you look at that and you go, yeah, I don't know if my art could do to handle that, then maybe it's time you start experimenting with some other stuff. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Feel free to leave comments and ask questions. Thanks very much for helping grow the channel.